Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about how I eat whatever I want without gaining weight. When I heard this the first time, I thought, well, then I would be eating McDonald's 24-7. But when I really thought about it, when I'm having McDonald's, and don't get me wrong, I love McDonald's, okay? But I don't feel my best after eating it. I usually feel very bloated, very tired, so why would I want to feel like that all the time? This video is not gonna be about how to eat fast food seven days a week without gaining weight, but more like how to eat your favorite foods, how to eat whatever you pretty much want on a daily basis without gaining weight. First thing is that you need to find food that you love. That doesn't mean that you have to eat like everybody else. If you do not enjoy eating plain chicken with rice and vegetables, you don't have to eat that. I personally don't eat that like pretty much ever. Like if I'm having something like chicken rice and uh, veggies, I usually have sauces on top because then, then I enjoy it. But I also like to eat other things. I like to eat my pasta and I like to have pizza and burgers and stuff like that. If you don't enjoy eating oats for breakfast, for example, you would rather have eggs or whatever it is, have that for breakfast. For me, I personally, I love my oats. There are so many different things that you can eat that are still healthy. You just need to find a way that suits you. And if you have meals that you enjoy and that they're also healthy, you don't ever feel like you're eating super healthy. Like I don't ever feel restricted or like I'm crazy craving something because I just have all of my favorite food pretty much all the time. I think it's really important to also find meals that give you energy because food is energy and you don't want to feel bad after eating your food. Second thing is find a balance that suits you. So some people like to eat super healthy during the week and then eat a little bit more unhealthy on the weekend. Some people like to eat a little bit unhealthy every day. I personally like to eat more healthy during the week and then have a little bit other food on the weekend I feel like I'm more on track if I do it that way but I'm also not super strict about it so I will have popcorn in the evening during the week I will have a cookie during the week if a friend asks me to go out to go for dinner or whatever not that I ever really go out but you know the rare occasion and then I usually have like more of a cheat meal I don't like to call it more free on the weekends with what I want to eat I also visit family on Sunday and there is not always a well, there's, <laughs> there's usually not the healthiest food there so I I just pretty much eat what I enjoy on the weekends also sometimes I have a super healthy week I'm really on track and then I have a week where I have takeout all the time kind of like the balance of life you won't always have a super healthy week every week but you also won't have a super unhealthy week every week so find a balance of how much healthy and how much unhealthy you can eat without gaining weight. If you ever lost weight and you are afraid that you will gain weight back, I always remind myself, like for example, if we have Christmas or something, I didn't lose weight in a week, so I'm not gonna gain weight in a week. I mean, yes, the scale will go up, uh, of course. That's why I just don't weigh myself, for example, after Christmas, because it just makes me feel bad. I just go back to eating healthy again, and you do not gain weight in that time. So if you have a birthday week or a vacation or whatever, where you ate a little bit more unhealthy than usual, you will not gain weight, even though the scale will probably show that you gain some weight. But if you go back to your normal routine, your normal diet, Fine. The next thing is building muscle and why this is so important is because now I can eat four to five times a day easily, easily without gaining weight. I can eat around 2000 calories, probably a little bit more, maintaining my weight, which is amazing because when I was losing weight the first time I was eating like 1200 to 400 calories, which is absolutely insane to think about because this is so little amount of food that it's, I, I don't even know how I did it. What I did is I, I gained weight <laughs> which sounds kind of like counterproductive but when I gained weight by building muscle I also now have a different calorie intake that I can have you know now I can have way more calories than before and if I want to lose weight I can also have more calories before because now I can have like I would say a thousand eight hundred calories and still lose weight and you do get more food freedom and you can eat more by building muscle so this was my number one <laughs> not number one this was such a motivation for me I really wanted to build muscle and to gain a little bit of weight in order to eat more because now I don't have to restrict myself I can very comfortably eat I'm not hungry during the day I mean now I'm, I'm a little bit cutting I'm a little bit losing weight but usually I'm not hungry during the day I just pretty much eat whenever I'm hungry and I do not gain weight even by eating 
around five times a day. I do try to stay active um, because I don't move a lot during the day. I go to the gym and also take my dog on walks and I try to be more active in that way which also makes sure that I'm not super easily gaining weight. Being more active just by little things. You don't even have to exercise by being more active. Just going on a walk can help so much or by walking somewhere instead of driving or I don't know taking the stairs if you have a lot of stairs during the day instead of going to the elevator and little stuff like that can add up a lot during the week so if you feel like you can only eat very little food and you're still not losing weight I would recommend go the other way and just gain weight go to the gym build muscle in order to be able to eat more again this is what I pretty much always wanted to eat comparable and not starve myself and not have any cravings I also have a whole video about my gaining weight story if you want to watch that where I go more into detail about gaining weight and why I wanted to gain weight and something that I noticed when I was first starting to eat more and gaining a little bit of weight was that I don't have any cravings anymore because I was eating throughout the entire day I was never really starving myself when I was hungry I was eating and then I didn't have any cravings that I always had before before that I always had cravings of like chips and ice cream and stuff like that and now I don't even have these cravings anymore I usually want to eat pretty healthy and if I have a craving I just usually eat I eat what I want if I have a craving that I want to have chocolate I'm gonna eat it because if I restrict myself then I'm gonna want then I want to have it even more. Give into your cravings. If you want to have something, sometimes I also like to just have a little bit of something. You know, you don't have to eat like a whole bag of chips all the time you can also have a little bit and that's not like too bad but you also gave into your craving next thing is be aware of hidden calories because they can add up so quickly and then you eat maybe super healthy and you're still asking yourself why am i gaining weight or why am i not losing weight some things some food some drinks they have a lot of calories where you're not even aware that they have them for example starbucks or like really sugary coffees they can add up extremely like some of these drinks have calories of an entire meal which doesn't mean that you can never have them but if you have them every day it's probably not gonna be good in the long run so very sugary coffees in general drinks like drinks can add up so quickly alcohol then you also have hidden calories and stuff like I don't want to say that hummus or stuff like that is bad but hummus does have a lot of calories like if you eat an entire package it's gonna have a lot of calories sometimes even salads can be really tricky because you're like oh I'm having a salad but then they load it up with a dressing that has an insane amount of calories. I also really like to read labels of food that I buy. I mean, I try to buy, you know, whole foods and not too much processed food, but you can also always read the label and see what's inside because sometimes, I mean, I don't want to make this all about calories, but you know, sometimes you buy something and you're like, oh, this looks healthy. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, maybe not, it's not, maybe not so healthy. Just because something looks healthy doesn't mean that it is healthy or that it is like, like a calorie friendly option without making it so much about calories also a very important point is to learn listening to your body because if you learn listening to your body you don't have to focus so much on calories or stuff like that you will notice when you're hungry and you will also get a feeling of when you're full so you're not always overeating which I struggled a lot I would say especially in the beginning now I feel I have more of a control of like yes I'm hungry I want to eat and now I'm full and I'm gonna stop and I'm not gonna overeat until I'm like so full that I, I can't even move anymore I mean sometimes I do that don't get me wrong like I have a whole pizza or I go to McDonald's or on Christmas or whatever there are occasions when you overeat we all have that when you go to a restaurant portion is too big it's so good to so eat the entire meal it happens, it happens, and there's nothing bad about it. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to eat until I'm full. So I listen to my body when it's hungry, when it's full. I listen to my body which foods make me feel good. Like sometimes when I eat something, I don't feel very good after eating it. So I might avoid it in the future. Or I have foods that give me a lot of energy that make me feel amazing. And then I obviously also want to eat them. I think the main goal is to eat more intuitively. At least for me, I don't want to be like super strict about calories or anything I don't count calories at all pretty much now I'm a little bit on a cut so I try to sometimes have a little bit of an overview other than that I don't track my calories I don't track my macros because I did that in the beginning when I was losing weight and I feel like now I have a very good 
sense <laughs> of what I'm eating and I also don't want to track that because I do feel better if I eat intuitively and listen to my body and I feel like the last point is the most important in eating whatever you want without gaining weight because your body is going to tell you anyways what it needs and also creating a balance between you know the healthy food that makes you feel good but also the food that makes your soul feel good is what I want to say it because you know sometimes sometimes you just want to have your pizza and your McDonald's and whatever and it's just maybe you don't feel the best afterwards maybe you're super bloated whatever but but it's so good for, for your mental state at least for me I know not for everybody some people say they don't like that they don't like the feeling they don't feel good afterwards if you have a lot of fast food it can also affect your mental health in a bad way obviously um, but having it in moderation nothing wrong with it so these are pretty much my best tips on how I I eat whatever I want without gaining weight. I know everybody's different, so maybe you need to try a different approach. But I like to have a very, very free and relaxed approach when it comes to food, because otherwise it gets very toxic for me. And by doing that, you don't have to stress about food, which I think is the most amazing thing, and you can just eat whatever you want on a daily basis. I hope this helped in any way. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!